All right, hello, funny, and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Automatic Fuel Cells mod, which is being made by form user Zephos. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a simple little plugin that will automatically toggle your fuel cells on or off depending on your energy levels. And I love this mod. It's one of those simple but really convenient little things that you gotta kind of wonder why wasn't it just a part of the game to begin with it's so wonderful so before we head into the VAB and take a look at how this thing works we do actually need to change one setting in our game to make it function and it's quite simple you just go into your settings here and scroll on down to there it is advanced tweakables enable that it's disabled by default so just turn that on and you're good to go now i'm also going to scale our ui up a bit so things are a bit easier to see and ooh, boy that's hideously large and into the vab we go where if we just grab a random command pod as well as head to power and grab a random fuel cell when we right click on this you'll now notice we have this automatic fuel cell option here. And if we click that to open it up, the first thing we have is the operations button, which by default it'll be on manual, and that means you will have to turn this thing on or off like you always have forever. But if we click that, we can turn it to automatic. And now, it'll automatically turn this fuel cell on and begin recharging your batteries once you hit the low end of the threshold, which by default is 15% of your electric charge, and then will turn this fuel cell off when you hit 85, which again is the number there by default. But you can adjust this to whatever you want in here, and I love that. And what makes it even better is it's not just usable here in the VAB. If we actually go to launch, we can see this thing functioning out in the world, and of course, make those adjustments on the fly while in flight, which makes it so much nicer. Because yeah, if you're on a mission and you decide you no longer need it to be at maybe starting at 15%, perhaps you're wanting to maintain maintain a high level of power, well, you could have it turn on at 50%. And if you do actually click inside of the green here, you can actually sort of drag this around. Uh, so once you have your range that you like, like say if you only want uh, a 20% range between the low and high, and then you just adjust it from there. It's a very convenient little thing, but yes, I love that it is just as simple as clicking and dragging the little gray rectangles here and uh, setting your thresholds. Now let's actually see this thing in motion. So let's uh, turn this on to automatic. And if I you know, click that on so you can see our power levels, lovely. In fact, let's go ahead and pin you and pin you, lovely, there we go. And, if I turn on my hyper edit, I can suddenly and magically drain all of our electric charge so that this thing will start to function once we reach 50% of our electric charge. And there we go. We now are creating power through the fuel cell. Wonderful! And I didn't touch a thing besides, of course, magically draining said electrical power using hyper edit. And it will go until it reaches the automatic threshold of 70%, and then it'll turn itself off. Now let me speed that along by adding in some power here. Let's get it up to, uh, yeah, right there at 67. And once it hits 70, it'll turn off, and then you don't have to worry about your fuel cell wasting more fuel than you needed on your mission, which is very nice. There it goes, it just turned off, we're no longer gaining any power, and we're good to do whatever our mission entails. And I really do love that, it's a great little convenient feature that means that you don't have to be watching the power levels yourself, it'll just automatically come on when it's low, and you don't have to worry about wasting fuel with it running too long because it'll just turn itself off. 
it's a great, simple, convenient, useful tool. And that's really all to talk about with it. It's a great little plugin. If you'd like to check it out for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course, that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.